everyone myself mitali jain and in today's session we will learn about digital storage oscilloscope order code is 2021415136 this digital storage oscilloscope is basically used to measure the behavior of waveform and the signal such as step ramp rectangular noise and we can also check the modulation and demodulation of different signals and the waveform we can increase and decrease the amplitude of the waveform and we can calculate the frequency and different parameters of a waveform so this is the digital storage oscilloscope of 200 megahertz as you can see that this it has a display of 7 inch and it is a dual channel oscilloscope so it's uh, it's channel 1 and this is its channel 2 so this is the whole oscilloscope and for this we can interface it with the computer system so for that cd is provided uh, in which the software is embedded so we can uh, use and interface it with the computer system also so in detailed description of this oscilloscope we will discuss in a further video so this is our whole setup for digital storage oscilloscope so this is a multi purpose rotating knob it is a utility button it is auto set button this is run and stop button it is for measuring different parameters and it is to it is acquire button this is cursor button it is a scale rotating knob from seconds to nanoseconds and this is uh, the set basically for horizontal part and this is the set basically for vertical part so in horizontal if you want to move your wave from from horizon in horizontal way so you can uh, rotate this position knob and this is the scale parameter and this is the this is for vertical so you can move your wave from upward and downward through this position knob this is the math button and after that there are two indicators like you can push these buttons and this is for channel 1 and this is for channel 2 and uh, you can rotate the knob and you can increase and decrease the voltage from volts to millivolts so this is the knob for that then after that there are there you will connect the bnc to bnc connector or like a crocodile cable so this is the whole setup of our digital storage oscilloscope and these are the five function keys so you can set the different function through these keys such as amplitude frequency and uh, offset coupling so you can set through these buttons so now to study the waveform and uh, generate different waveform so we have used this function generator so first of all we will connect the input and output of this function generator through this this bnc to bnc connector so this i have connected and another i'll connect it to channel 1 so you can see that i have connected the bnc to bnc connector then after that you have to switch on the supply from here which i have already done so now it's not getting any output so it is showing the straight line so if we want to have the waveform so for that then after that i'll press this output button so you can observe uh, the sine wave on the a dso screen on the display basically so uh, through the you can increase and decrease the amplitude so here i have selected the frequency 600 hertz so if you want to increase the frequency you can hertz so you can see that when i am increasing the frequency so waveform is shrinking so you can increase and decrease the frequency so you can see that the waveform is shrinking so if you want to expand the waveform you have to decrease the frequency and you can increase and decrease the amplitude of the waveform by using this amplitude mode such as you can press it down and you can increase and decrease the amplitude of the waveform you can press the run stop and you can increase and decrease the waveform you can see that the amplitude of waveform is increasing constantly so you can see that the waveform amplitude has been increased in this way you can select the different waveform such as square triangular ramp noise signal and uh, these are modulated signals so in this way you can do the different waveform and you can generate the different waveform so here i'll decrease the amplitude so 
so this is the amplitude and now through this position button we can move the waveform upward and downward so as you can see as this waveform is moving upward and this waveform can be moved downward also so this is the way you can there are different mode you can see that this is for coupling this is inverted this is probe this is measurement of current off limit so there are different mode and if you want to move the waveform horizontally so you can see that waveform is moving toward right hand side so in this way you can operate the different functions so now you can see that there are two indicators that yellow indicator and blue indicator yellow indicator is for channel 1 and blue indicator is for channel 2 so if you want to see the waveform at channel 2 so we will connect this bnc probe to channel 2 these are the cover which are provided to cover your these connectors so you can see that there is no input now so now we i'll connect it to channel 2 and so you have to decrease the amplitude to get the result so now as you can see that i am not able to see my waveform clearly so now i'll decrease the so you can see that now we are able to observe the waveform so this is for different mode you can select so in this way you can see the different waveform so as i have selected the square waveform so it's showing the square waveform and it's mentioned that it's one ms and it is having the voltage of 500 millivolt and one divisions and depth is also mentioned which is of 10k time delay is also mentioned which is of 1.1 milliseconds and uh, all the data are mentioned in this screen so in this way we can check the behavior of different waveform through this uh, uh, oscilloscope and we can study the different parameter by using this oscilloscope these are some of the accessories which are provided with the oscilloscope so this is the crocodile cable this is the cd which is provided for computer interface and this is the usb cable which is also provided for computer interfacing and there are the different accessories in this in this there is a measuring trip and there is a electrical contact ground and ic tip sprung hook adjustment tool marking rings and ground lead so these all are the accessories hence this is all about today's session for further query you can contact to tesca technologies and you can also refer to our user manual thank you for watching the video